Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. Look, I was trying my hardest to make a video yesterday. I really was. Um, it just, I just, girl, yesterday just was just a mess. It was just a mess. Um, we have so much to talk about. I'm not gonna talk about it right now, but the things that I that we're gonna talk about tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow. Well, I have to go to work. Cause I have a meeting at work tomorrow, but it's only gonna be for like an hour. But I'm off tomorrow. After my meeting, um, I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'll make my videos. But we have to talk about um, the little baby, Malaya Davis. Um, we have to talk about, girl, we have to talk about Kim Kardashian again. Girl, some of y'all told me that that bitch didn't do that. And I was like, huh? I was confused, like, what you talking about, girl? The media ain't said nothing about that. And girl, I went to searching and digging. Girl, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Basically, Kim ain't did shit but give her money. I ain't gonna say she ain't did shit, but she ain't did shit. It was some black bitches who did all the goddamn work and they didn't get the credit. I said, God damn. Damn. Girl! I didn't know, and it was so crazy because some of y'all in the comment section was like, Rodney, that bitch ain't did shit. <laughs> it was some black girls. I was like, huh? I was like, what? And then, girl, here we go. I should have known. I should have known it was some black girls behind that shit. Um, anyways, we're going to talk about that tomorrow. What else are we talking about? It's a couple of things on my list that we need to talk about. But yeah, we have to talk about those things because I don't mind correcting myself when I'm wrong. Unlike some of these other YouTubers out here, honey. <laughs> girl, they'll st that, they will stand all in they wrong. Girl, you knew you, you know you was wrong, right? Girl, just go and tell the people you know you was wrong, girl. All you can do is go by the information that was provided. Anyways, we ain't gonna talk about that today. Girl, this is what I wanted to ask y'all about. Who the fuck is Tati? Tati? It, girl, James Charles. I just figured out who the hell that was. I said, oh, that's that little white queen. The one who was the cover girl. The, the Like the first cover boy or some shit like that. Girl, y'all know one of my rules. One of my rules is I don't talk about other YouTubers. I don't talk about other YouTubers. The only time I ever kind of walked across that line was when like the Queen's Court... And they whole drama and Funk It I Neva kind of caught, got caught in the middle. Not got caught in the middle. You know, he was in the middle of the shit. And I was like, you know. So it became a part of the Queen's Court story. Um, but everybody knows I love Funk It I Neva. It's like my, girl, that's like my, oh, I love Funk It I Neva. Um, but anyway, so like that's the only time I ever really like broke that rule. Um... But I felt like I had to because of the fact that, you know, he kind of went in, he kind of got in the middle of a hot topic at the time, like the Queen's Court. Everybody was talking about it and, you know, their breakup. Anyway, so I said, well, girl, this is white people shit anyway, okay? Let's talk about what's going on in the white people world. And then to me, I think from what I understand, Tati and James Charles have... I don't know these people. I don't know these white folk, honey. Uh, they have basically, um, like, they're. I don't know if they're. I don't know if they're still like, like basically, like if YouTube was to go away, they would still have a career. Basically, like they're not like. Are they like YouTubers? YouTubers? Or, or is it something now that they just do on the back end? Like, oh, you. I was discovered on YouTube, but now. I have this huge following, but even if YouTube like shut down tomorrow, I would still be good. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, girl, look, let's just talk about these white people. <laughs> girl, okay? Girl, so from what I understand, and here I go, my messy ass, I done sit there and watched that whole 40, 45 minute video of Tati Westbrook. Girl, I'ma say this much. I believe everything that little bitch had to say. I believe everything Tati had to say. Everything. Everything that bitch had to say. Um, I do believe that James Charles is young. He is a, I think he's probably a mean girl now. He's rich. Um, I believe everything that I believe everything that bitch had to say. Now, this is the thing that I was kind of like, girl. Like I started reading some articles 
like Perez, I went to Perez Hilton and he was talking about it. And, and I guess some people that went to school, baby, this white boy walking down the street is fine as fuck. And he got a stinking walk too. Damn. Girl, I be loving men. I, I love when men have stinking ass walks. I love it. Like when they be bow legged and they booty be too, like they booty be too, uh, tooted up. Girl, where's you going? <laughs> where's you going, girl? Anyways, um, so he was Perez was talking about how, um, some like some people in high school were saying that James was a bully in high school. I said, I don't believe that shit for one second. Let me tell y'all something. I ain't never heard of no gay person being no bully in no goddamn high school. I'm saying, I'm not saying it don't exist. I just ain't never heard. This is what I think probably happened. That was probably fucking with that boy in high school. He probably got fed up with, he probably got fed up with y'all shit, with y'all fucking with him. And he came to school one day and was like, y'all got the girl fucked up from here on out. If y'all say something to me, I'ma say something to y'all. Or I'm going to say something to y'all before y'all even get a chance to say something to me. That's what I think more than likely happened. I don't think that ball was a bully. I, I don't think he was no bully in no high school, though. I don't think that. Um, I don't care if the whole high school had to say it. I was still called a whole high school a liar. No, y'all was messing with that boy. And he got fed up with y'all bullshit. And he, and he turned the tables on y'all asses. Um, They say... I have... I, you know what's so crazy? Because Jasmine Masters was talking about Jasmine Masters is a drag queen she was on uh, RuPaul's Drag Race anyways I remember her talking about him a couple of weeks ago because he said something about James Charles said something about him sleeping with uh, like he likes sleeping with straight boys and he doesn't consider himself gay I guess because he likes to have sex with trans men or something girl I don't know girl girl let me say this much for some reason, within the gay community, girl, her gonna, girl, gays, don't come up here saying nothing to me, because y'all know what I'm about to say is true. <clears throat> For some reason, and, and let me say another thing, too, because I know that Tati, from what I understand, Tati and James Charles, they have a, a big-ass following. Don't none of y'all, let, let me tell y'all something, because, baby, the way we do it over here, don't you bring your ass over here talking to me crazy in that comment section. Cause I'ma talk to your crazy. I'ma talk to you crazy back. I'ma cut your ass the fuck out, and then I'ma go on by my business. Cause I see. I, Cause I've been reading some of y'all comments on. I was like, girl, these people. It's kind of like the beehive. Girl, like, girl, these people be going hard for the people they love. Like I get it, but girl, don't you come over here in my comment section thinking you gonna set some shit off? Cause I'ma set it back off. Okay. That's the first thing I want to say. So the James Charles fans and the Tati fans. Girl, don't come over here talking that crazy shit, cause I'ma cut your ass out for real, okay? And that ain't even that ain't even something I really do in the comment section, but I will cut y'all out, cause I see how hard y'all go for these people. Girl, I've been start talking about your grandmama, your child, girl, your daddy, girl, everybody, everybody gonna get cussed out. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, so for some reason within the gay community, gays they love the idea of sleeping with a straight man quotation marks okay they they have this it's like this i don't know like this love for sleeping with someone who i guess they thought that they turned out y'all already know it ain't no secret i don't fuck with boys who identify as straight i don't fuck with niggas who say they bisexual i don't fuck with niggas who say they dl that's not no mm -mm. No, 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 no. That's not, I, girl, I don't, even if it's a one night stand, if you tell me some shit like, oh, I'm down low, nope, you hiding something. <laughs> girl, you got a whole wife and five kids at the house. Girl, get out of my face. I just, just not my stilo. But, you know, for some reason, gay guys have this obsession with sleeping with or being turned on by men that identify as straight, like, ooh, I like the straight boys. Sweetie, if you fucking with a man, he's not straight, girl. Ain't no such thing as gay for pay. If you, if you, if you fucking and sucking for money, girl, you gay. Straight up. Cause ain't no way in hell all of a sudden you offer a nigga a thousand dollars and he going oh yeah, I, I'll let you fuck me in my asshole or I'll fuck you in your asshole. Like, no, girl, he's gay. 
So stop it. Ain't nobody sleeping with, you ain't sleeping with no straight boy. You sleeping with a man who ain't came to terms with his sexuality. That's all that is. So anyways, James Charles is not the first person that I've heard, you know, be obsessed with men who identify as straight. I don't know what the, I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. I, I just don't get it. Now, this is the part where I kind of started getting, like, Tati girl, shut the fuck up. When she started talking about how she was afraid of James Charles. Girl, you ain't afraid of that boy. Girl, here she go. I, you know, I'm really afraid of James Charles. Girl, if you don't get your husband to cuss that boy out, or you cuss his ass out, girl, I wish I would be. Now, maybe, I said, well, maybe, maybe she meant that she was afraid of, like, the machine behind James Charles. That's what I'm assume. That's what I'm going to assume that that's what she meant. Because I know for a fact that bitch ain't talking about she afraid of James Charles for real, for real. Girl, I, girl, let me, I was about to say something, I was about to say something real fucked up. Girl. <laughs> Do you think I'm about to be scared of a little white twink? Do you hear me who walk around here with, <laughs> with, with, with nails on and makeup? I know that sounds so fucked up. I'm not saying you can't fight. I'm not saying you ain't got no nasty windmill. Because you probably got a nasty windmill, James Charles. But girl, I'm not going to be scared of you, girl. We're going to turn that whole goddamn street up. Do you hear me? Girl, anyway, it's time to shut up, girl. You ain't scared of that boy. Um, This is what I have to say about the whole, like, it's one thing if... James Charles was going after, you know, boys, like teenagers, you know, if that's the case, that is a little fucked up, like, girl, you using your power and your money to go after these teenage boys, whether they're 18 or 19, and, convince, and convincing them to sleep with you, or you, you know, using your money and power to have them sleep with you. That's fucked up. Because it is true, like even even when you, uh, let, let me just say this much. Even when you're 21, 22, 23, 24, baby, it's grown as 30 year olds and 40 year olds and 50 year olds and 60 year olds who have not come to terms with their sexuality. So I know it's people out there who, you know, are in their 20s and early teens or late teens who haven't come to terms with their sexuality. How and ever. I would never, you're not going to get me to believe that these straight boys who was hanging out with James Charles, who knew James Charles was hitting on them, that they was just so, oh my God. No, you knew who you, you was hanging out with James Charles because James Charles was rich. He probably got a whole bunch of power in the industry that he's in. You wanted to hang out with the rich boy. A lot of times, gay boys hang out with some of the baddest bitches, and that's just true tea. Sometimes gay boys hang out with some of the prettiest girls. So you was probably using James Charles to hang around with the pretty girls, screw some of his friends, use him for, you know, use whatever you can get out of James. Like, you're not gonna get me to believe that all these straight boys who James Charles was hitting on, like, they wasn't in it for some shit too. Now again, like I said, it's one thing when, if James Charles was using his power and money to convince these young, gullible guys, you know. But girl, some of them niggas, they knew what the fuck was going on. Now all of a sudden, y'all want to start calling that boy a sexual predator because some grown-ass men wanted to hang out with him and get close to the money. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. But the one thing I do know, bitch, is, baby, I don't know what James, James Charles, girl, let me tell you something, girl. Girl, I watch your video, too, that little eight-minute clip. Girl, just because you whisper, hey, guys, let me turn my AC down so y'all can hear me. Girl, here she go. Here she go. Here she go whispering. Like, like, girl, like, that's going, like, that's going, girl, first of all, James Charles, girl, I believe everything Tati said, girl. Girl, you a mess. That's the first thing, girl. You all a mess. Girl, you done got rich at a very young age and you think you run the world. So here you go, girl. Here you go. I just woke up, guys. And um, I just want to say that, um, you know, I just want to apologize to Tati and James Westbrook. And girl, so here he go start crying when he's talking about his mama. No tears coming out. None, bitch. No tears. Girl, what are tears at, girl? Girl, you can't even cry right, bitch. 
You know you done fucked up, bitch. Like I said, I don't, I, I never followed James Westbrook, uh, whoever, James Charles or Tati, and I'm not gonna follow them now. But girl, girl James, girl, I saw your subscriber count drop, like girl from like girl a lot, girl millions, girl you don't fuck, girl you done fucked up your money, girl. <laughs> girl, you done fucked up your money, girl. Girl, you gonna leave them straight boys alone, girl. You gonna leave them straight niggas alone, yes ma'am. Girl, here she go. This bitch I work with, about to lose her guy. I knew that bitch was gonna come to work. Girl, this bitch done missed two days of work this week. I just saw this little bitch walking to the job. Girl, 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 go ahead and turn back around, girl, because your Hirsch code is not gonna be working tomorrow. Girl, girl, my manager was pissed off yesterday, honey. Pissed. Anyways, y'all. Let me get my black ass in this goddamn job. Anyways, I'm this and I'm Team Tati. I believe everything that, be, that bitch had to say. Even though she tried to play the victim a little bit. And I'm just so afraid. And again, y'all pass the message pass the message on to um them little kids out there. Tell them kids don't come over here talking to me crazy. Because <laughs> I will cut their asses the fuck out. Okay. And I think nothing, and I think nothing about it. Okay, and go have me a cocktail. I thought I talked about your mama, talked about your daddy, talked about your girl. Okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, y'all. What else? Yeah, Tati, James Charles, girl. I said, why you you know I love when white people argue, girl. James Charles, girl, you done fucked up, honey. Girl, you this is what it got. This is what it came down to. James Charles and Tati Westbrook. Ja basically, Tati had James Charles back. And Tati. Tati had James Charles back, and James Charles didn't have her back, basically. He was a fucked up friend. I mean, girl, I believe everything the bitch had to say. Um, all right, y'all, bye. Let me get into this building. Bye, y'all.